Hey folks, welcome to another episode of The Natural Medic Adventures. I am your host, The Natural Medic. On this week's episode, I'm going to give you something I've been concocting for a while, and that is a budget-friendly loadout from local places that everybody probably has. So without further ado, here, check out my pack here. All right, I'm going to take the pack off, set it down, and we'll discuss the pack itself, where it came from, and what's in it. If you're like me, you like to keep your costs down. Not all of us live close to an REI or Eastern Mountain Sports, but anyway, you get my point. We don't all live close to a big outdoor outfitter type store like REI or others. What about going to your local Walmart? I know, maybe a stigma. However, Walmart, now of course, your Walmart may vary from my Walmart here in East Texas. You may have different items there available, but I'm primarily looking at items that I was able to obtain at my local Walmart. So, first things first, what about the pack? This pack is Ozark Trails, which is Walmart's outdoor brand. It is called the Hiker Backpack. And you look at it, it looks a lot like a lot of other reputable name brand backpacks. For comparison, just before I tell you how much I paid for it and the size and that kind of stuff, I looked at REI. As of this recording at the end of February of 2022, they are doing a sale right now. But their cheapest or least, least expensive backpack, let's put it that way, is still over $100 and closer to $150 range for a men's pack or a woman's pack. This one is not specific to any particular sex. It does have adjustable suspension in the back, which I'm the largest size suspension because I'm six foot two. And it is very padded and comfortable. In the store, it costs a whopping $44 and change. Now on the website, walmart.com, it's a little bit more I noticed. I think it's around $64, but not too bad. Now, with that being said, it is a heavier pack. It is an internal frame pack, and empty it does weigh close to five pounds. But a lot of the budget gear is gonna be heavier. However, this entire setup that I have right here, which is not including food, not including fuel for the stove, and not including clothes other than a pair of uh, spare socks and a pair of spare underwear, it weighs in at right, right on the nose of 16 pounds base weight. And if you don't know what base weight is versus your total weight, at the end of the video, I'll explain exactly what that is. Let's go through this pack piece by piece. Now, if you read the little, I kept the little card attached to it. It does have an adjustable sternum strap with a safety whistle built in. A lot of manufacturers are doing that. Padded hip belt, zippered pockets, air mesh, padded shoulder straps, back panel, Reflective safety adjustable side compression straps. So it does have fully adjustable straps like a lot of the high dollar packs that are out there. It has a lot of useful pockets. In this topmost pocket, which most people call this the brain of the pack because it's on the very top, just like our head. In the brain of the pack, I have my poop kit. Now my poop kit, I did not obtain any of this from Walmart, but if you wanted to, you're not gonna find a lightweight trowel a lot of times. I just have it in a plastic bag here. Well, that wet trowel that I have used, and it's just, trust me, it's just dirt on there. I got that, I believe, at Amazon, or you can obtain that at Amazon. I don't think it's available in any Walmarts that I have noticed. But you could get a trowel, if you wanted to, from the garden section. Even though it's going to be a little heavier, it'll still dig a hole and allow you to bury your waste. But I did obtain this item here. From the Walmart which is uh, tissue just a little roll of tissue and some hand sanitizer and some dude wipes they can be definitely used by either male or female doesn't matter okay also I have in here my frog togs rain jacket 25 whole bucks at Walmart it is waterproof and breathable and it's relatively it feels very durable I have not worn it in a rainstorm as of yet but it's lightweight, it's compact, and I keep it in this outside pocket so it's easy to access. The next item, we're gonna 
unfasten here. This one, I have noticed, is not available at a lot of the Walmarts everywhere around here. I've only found it at one particular store around here that I go to often. It is the one-person Ozark Trail backpacking tent. I did do a full review of this. It's on my channel. I will link it in the description below so you can watch that. It's actually a pretty decent tent. I did do some upgrades to it. It came with metal stakes. I don't know if they're aluminum or steel, but anyway, I got this particular stake from Walmart, which is about 99 cents a piece. It needs eight stakes. So I bought these Coglins, which are 99 cents a piece. That's a good upgrade to make it a little bit lighter and they're better stakes overall. Now, this tent is a single wall tent. It weighs out of the package here, it weighs three, pound, three pounds point and point six or six tenths. Okay, but I probably reduced that to around three pounds by, by changing the stakes out. It's a good tent. It is a single wall, has a vestibule, has enough room for a tall person like me or somebody even taller to lay down there and put some gear inside the tent and also has a vestibule as well. 29 whole dollars for this guy. Not bad. Okay, going further into the pack. Let's look at the outside of the pack here. Something might be handy to have, just a little Mylar. Somewhere I had the box for it, I don't remember. A little emergency blanket, just in case. That's available at Walmart for about two or three bucks. This is the hiking kit, first aid kit I've been using. I got it from Walmart. Maybe, I think it was upside down. It's called the Happy Hikers Kit. It has everything that I need. I've added some stuff to it like uh, toenail clippers or fingernail clippers. I had a few drugs in there like uh, Tylenol, Benadryl, Aleve, etc. You know, for pain relief or allergy or whatever. And I have a first aid stick I added in there and a safety pin. But other than that, it's about seven bucks. Easy to pick up at most Walmarts and it fits about anywhere and it's good for one or two people. Easy. All right, that's pretty much everything on the outside of the pack. So let's go into the inside of the pack. Okay, now, Outdoor Products has a series of bags you can get at Walmart to help you organize your pack. They usually come in a set of three, and this is one of them. This is the medium size one, and here is my cook kit. Not available currently at my local Walmart, but I'll put a link to it in the description below. So it's available for you if I can find it on walmart.com or on Amazon. I did do a full review of this kit. It came with cups in there you'll watch my cook kit video and I did a review on this stove this is the only single burner stove I've been able to find at local Walmarts it's the Coleman peak one uh, single burner stove not particularly set up for backpacking it's a little bit hefty but I've taken it on a backpacking trip myself works great since we're not talking about uh, total weight the fuel is not included in this particular loadout but I will add it at the end if I was going to take this on an actual trip now additionally in my kit, what I would take, and I have it here, is a folding cup, which is an Ozark Trail folding cup for coffee or hot beverages or cold beverages for that matter. Not the most attractive thing, not the most durable thing, but it's cheap. You can get those at most of your Walmarts for $1.50 or I will link it below and you can pick you one up. Walmart.com or Amazon.com. I have a cheap little kitchen towel from Coleman that I got on clearance. I cut it in half. I use that to, you know, help clean up the pot or if it's hot or I want to lay something on there to keep it, not, not get it dirty. There you go. And a lot of times I would have a spork in here as well, and I believe it's in here. <laughs> Hopefully. This is also available at Walmart. It's from Yuko. I think that's how you say it. And it's just a spork. Spoon on one end, fork on the other end, has a knife edge right there so you can cut things. And that's available also in most, most of your Walmarts. Okay, diving in deeper here. Now, as far as clothing goes, I don't know where you live. I live in Texas. It's about to be uh, springtime weather here and perfect hiking season. It has been in the 30s and below. It was 20 something, 26, I think, 25 when I got up this morning. It does get cold here. Only things I'm going to carry, probably on, a, on an overnight or a weekend trip, 
a spare pair of hiking socks, a spare pair of underwear. If you haven't watched my layering video, I will link that below. Give me some tips on layering and cold weather. Later on this year, I'll have a video coming out about sun protection and hiking in warmer weather. But anyway, that's the clothing bag. Food is not part of your base weight, but here's my food bag. I can put all the food I need for a couple of days inside of this bag, which is also from Outdoor Products and the little three pack kit. Now here's where I ran into some issues. This is the Climate Insulated Static V. There are no inflatable pads that I found at any local Walmart. So this one you can get on walmart.com or amazon.com or eBay or someplace like that. I got this particular one as a factory second on eBay, but I will do some, put some links in it below. It is a very comfortable pad. I have slept on this in colder temperatures. It has kept me warm, even though some say it's not as insulated as it uh, claims to be. It's not very heavy, not very, not very bulky, about the size of a Nalgene bottle packed up, about 24 ounces. Here, the piece de resistance. This is probably the most expensive piece I have in this whole loadout. This is available. This is available from Walmart.com or Amazon. It is not available. Whoops, that's the straps. This is a quilt. For those of you who don't know what a backpacking quilt is, it's basically a blanket that, in my research, it takes a better, or it's better, it's, it's, it's more comfortable to sleep in than a sleeping bag. I've slept in mummy bags for a long time. Unfortunately, at your local Walmart, if you try to find a mummy bag that is cheap and will go in and will fit into your, your backpack of any type, you're not gonna probably have much luck. So you're probably gonna have to go online to get you something a little bit better. I recommend this. I will be doing a review on this later on when I have a chance to actually use it. I just got this the other day. It's a Moon Dance quilt from a company called Featherstone and they sell it on Amazon.com and also on Walmart.com. So anyway, that is my choice. It's very compact and it fits. If you try to get a mummy bag from Walmart, it's going to take up most of your pack space. That's pretty much everything inside of the pack. Now on the side of the pack, I have two water bottles. Now this pack will accept, you can see maybe right there, it will accept a water bladder. And that's an option if you want to do a water bladder. That's nice and convenient. It does have the ports on each side for the water bladder. But I recommend using a set of smart water bottles or something like that. These came from Dollar Tree. And now that they're empty, I have marked one with a D on it, with a marker, one with a C, okay? Dirty water, clean water. So I can collect my dirty water with this and apply my filter, which these filters are available, maybe not in this color, but they are available definitely in this color here. It's the Sawyer Mini, 20 bucks. You can get a very decent, very utilized, very useful, water filter and according to Sawyer it will last for up to 100,000 gallons of filtering. Now you can do a couple different things with this filter. Put it on your bottle like this and treat it as a straw. Oops. I pulled the little thing off. So you can treat it like a straw so you can put the dirty water in here and just put your mouth on there and drink it just like this. Additionally you could drain the the, the uh, clean water into your cook kit if you're going to make a meal or you're going to cook in your cook kit or you could drain it into a another bottle as long as that bottle has never been in dirty water and drink directly out of that so it's pretty adaptable to a lot of different scenarios the last item that we have down here is a Walmart folding pad I know I have the climate pad I talked about that but a lot of these inflatable pads. I don't trust I don't trust those pads if I'm laying on a rock or a sharp stick or something like that that they wouldn't get a hole in them. That's a vital important point and I'll talk about that when I do my video on the quilt in the future. But 
This is just like that particular pad. It's lightweight. It folds out. You can put this down first to offer some more additional insulating power against the cold ground. And also it adds some additional protection for your inflatable pad so it doesn't uh, pop with a you know, sharp object underneath it. That's just like this one down here, but you can get one at Walmart if you need one for about 22 bucks. And the Thermarest ones for comparison available online or outdoor stores, they're going to run you around 40 to 50 bucks. So just to keep that in mind. So I will have a total of all the items on the screen here once I figure that out <laughs> and put it in there in the editing process. Let's look at this backpack on the back real quick. So I'm in the, the large setting on the backpack, but you can adjust it for a medium sized torso and a small sized torso. So the great thing about this pack, even though it's inexpensive and, and it comes from Walmart, <laughs> it still is adaptable to a lot of different torso sizes for a low price. So the whole point of this video was to give you an idea of what it would cost to get a low cost and pretty lightweight backpacking setup. Now, as I said, I will link description in the description below videos that are related to this topic that it can go more in depth. And I will also put links to all the products that are there and I'll list them on whatever places available online for you to get those. Oh yeah, I was going to tell you about base weight. Base weight is everything in the pack minus your consumables. So that's minus food, fuel, and water. So your base weight can pretty much be the same no matter where you live, but depending on what your conditions are on your trail and what you're going to have to do, your total weight may vary quite a bit. Hey folks, you ever get to your editing process in your videos and you realize, hmm, I left something out. No? Just me? Okay. Well, <laughs> anyway, that's what happened. I forgot to tell you about this headlamp. It was in my hip pocket on that backpack in the video, and I totally forgot about it. Anyway, long story short, this I did a full review on last year. I will link that video in the description below so you can check that out. And I will put a link to the product itself. You can pick it up at your local Walmart or online for about uh, 10 to 15 bucks. It's bright and shiny, hands-free, runs on three AAA batteries, easily replaceable to keep continuous light. While you're down in the description, check out the link for my backpackers checklist, a checklist of all your gear. If you got any value from this video, please give me the old thumbs up and like it. Subscribe to the channel so you can get more videos like this. If you're listening on the podcast, please check the link for the video if you want to watch it, and I will see y'all on the trail. Bye!